Chapter 11 And there was given me a reed, like a rod, and the angel stood, saying, Rise, and measure the temple of God, and the altar, and they that worship therein. But the court which is outside the temple leave out, and don't measure it, for it is given to the Gentiles, and the holy city shall they tread under foot for forty and two months. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceeds out of their mouth and devours their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this way be killed. These have power to shut heaven, so it doesn't rain in the days of their prophecy and has power over the waters to turn them to blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they wish. And when they have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them, and overcome them, and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations, they shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not allow their bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell on the earth shall rejoice over them, and make merry, and shall send gifts to one another, because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. And after three and a half days, the spirit of life from God entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up here. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies all watched them. And that same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and the earthquake were slain seven thousand men, and the rest of them were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe comes quickly. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign for ever and ever. And the four and twenty elders, which sat before God on their thrones, fell upon their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which are and was and is to come because you have taken to you your great power and has reigned. And the nations were angry, and your wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that you should give reward unto your servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and all them that fear your name, small and great, and should destroy them which have destroyed the earth. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament, and there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail.